Ruski 599, depart via runway 17 across runway 14 within the sign heading right 270, clear for takeoff. Ruski 599, airborne, g'day. Oh, I joined Careflight because I was uh, looking for a, a new challenge. I wanted to do a, a job which was interesting and uh, unique and I'd heard, uh, heard really good things about it. I think I've always sort of been interested in um, trauma, pre-hospital and retrieval medicine um, and really when this opportunity came up it was too hard to turn down. Working with Careflight lets me get out of the hospital, it lets me work outside and uh, get, get to go flying and uh, you get to do a, a type of work that uh, most doctors don't get to do. Essentially I'm an emergency trainee completing my uh, fellowship for the College of Australian um, Emergency Medicine. We get a lot of flexibility in our training to allow us to do many different components. So uh, Careflight offered a, a number of things that made that a really good option for me to do as a trainee. For me the unique thing about working with Careflight is that we go to the patient. We go into um, a range of different environments, um, different, different conditions with a small team and uh, we take medical care to the patient. It's a fun experience of being able to winch down to a boat in the middle of nowhere um, and, do, and see those sorts of things and see injuries and, and be able to sort of um, firstly give people pain relief but actually effectively treat um, their injuries. It's a pretty, pretty amazing experience. We work across a whole bunch of different organisations, EMQ, RFDS, the ambulance service, other helicopter providers as well, and it's fantastic. It's, it's such a good thing to work with people who are involved in pre-hospital care. These are folks who love their job. The training that is provided by the Key Flight Group is very cohesive and very relevant to what we do for as retrieval physicians. Um, so there's not one thing that we do in the two week period that doesn't relate specifically to what we do and allow new clinicians to come through and feel comfortable in approaching the new job. It also offers a number of very interesting experiences for doctors as well, from winch training, hanging 200 feet in a cable with a helicopter, um, underwater uh, emergency tra escape training that we do from helicopters, um, and using underwater breathing system apparatuses as well. So a number of things that make it quite interesting. I think, you know, it's definitely experience that has been amazing from both a professional and personal point of view. Um, you get to do things that you would never otherwise get the opportunity to do. Uh, you get to see places you would never otherwise get the opportunity to go to. It's ultimately a very satisfying job. When we go out into the community, into remote locations and, and help people who are very sick or badly injured and uh, you know, make them safe and transport them to a big hospital. Um, it's, it's just satisfying to, to help someone in that way and uh, we get a, an enormous amount of gratitude from patients and families. I see dozens of guys and girls over the years arrive at this job feeling very uncertain, perhaps unconfident, and they walk away all over it and super confident and really having it all together and it's, it's really rewarding to see, really gratifying to see. It, I think it does a lot for people professionally. Think hard for any reasons why you wouldn't want to do it.